Your next guest is a member of the House Appropriations Committee, that group responsible for writing the annual government spending bills and is arguably the most important committee in the House. Congressman Jack Kingston is a Republican from Georgia. He joins us live from Capitol Hill. Congressman, is it Fine. accurate to say right now that this entire holdup, that the entire federal government could be shut down over the issue of abortion? Well, I don't think it is, and the reason why I say that is that the speaker has told us that the policy issues have been resolved. Harry Reid is saying, no, there isn't a, an agreement on the policy. But from what the speaker told us a couple hours ago, those are now off the table. As you know, having seen these kind of deals before, in the 11th hour, they always get to be elusive. You think you've got everything worked out, and then something else breaks open. So it's not unusual to be in the position that we are in. I'm confident that something is being worked out and that we are very close. Even though I'm not in the room directly, I just have a feeling things are going to come together. That's good to hear, Congressman, because if you just listen to Reed and Boehner and we ran those sound bites, those two gentlemen seem very far apart. Should we believe that we are closer to getting a deal done than maybe just the, the, those little sound bites suggest? And that do you believe we will have a deal done by midnight and avert a federal shutdown? You know, I believe we will. I think that both men have worked very hard and has have their staffs and other members of Congress trying to make something happen. But, you know, here in the home stretch, it gets very elusive. It gets very frustrating. And people have a tendency to say, no, wait, this is out of whack. But I think that they've worked too hard and too long to walk away from it at this point. And I will say this, that we want to keep the government open. We want to reduce the size of the government. We want to reduce spending. We do not think tax dollars should be paid, should be spent on abortion. That's been the law of the land. Planned Parenthood has done something like five million abortions since the 1970s. It is a, a major abortion provider. This has nothing to do with cancer screening and women health services, as Harry Reid keeps saying it. And that's an ideological battle that we think is worth having because it's not a minor thing to a group that has aborted so many babies. But it has been an issue, Congressman, since 1973, and it will remain an issue no matter what happens with this budget. Why can't we just get a budget deal done? And it's not just about Planned Parenthood. There's a lot of other hot button issues. Why can't the well, two sides get a deal done and then work out the difficult stuff later because 800,000 federal workers are going to be without a paycheck in about five hours? Well, the reason that you tie policy to the money is often that's the only train that's leaving town and that's going to arrive on, at the station, the station being the president's desk and his signature on it. So often if you say, well, let's fight about abortion later, those later never come. So policy is always tied in with appropriations issues, and it is always at the last minute. These things don't just run, come down to money every, every time you get back to policy. And it, sometimes the more you cut, the less policy you have to have, the less you cut, the more policy reforms you have to have. And so that's what the debate has been about, and that's what it will continue to be about. Once we get past this, and I want to point out, the House has already passed it three times. Harry Reid has been unable or unwilling to pass one single resolution. And keep in mind, this is his budget left mm -hmm. over from the fall that he and Nancy should, Nancy Pelosi should have taken care of. Congress, we're running out of time quickly. If a deal is not struck, and if the government is shut down, whose hand gets forced? The government will have to reopen at some point. Whose hand would be forced to reopen the federal government? You know, I think we will continue to work in good faith to try to get it reopened. On the Republican side, we want to keep it open, but at the same time, we want to reduce spending. And we think that's a battle worth uh, taking into the weekend, next week, 24 hours a day, whatever we can do. Congressman Kingston of Georgia, thank you very much, sir. We appreciate it.